Hello and uh, welcome back to another video presentation from trainingright.com. Uh, today the topic is um, QTP. Um, we'll be talking about what is QTP, um, how we could uh, be using QTP for um, automated testing of uh, web applications, how we could be writing our scripts, how we could be recording our scripts, uh, and all the good stuff which uh, we could be doing using QTP. Um, by the way, QTP is an HP product, so you could be downloading it from uh, uh, HP.com. The current version of QTP is uh, version 11. Um, on my machine, I have downloaded it, and uh, it's, uh, it's a little older version, but uh, um, there's nothing in here which is going to be different from version 11. In version 11, there are some new features, uh, uh, which uh, we'll be talking about down the road. Um, for now, this is QTP 10, and I've opened uh, um, my QTP, and this is what you're seeing in here. Um, as any other software uh, out there, you have uh, in our QTP as well, you have the menu items here on the top. Uh, and what these menu items they do, they basically, let's say if you uh, need to open a new test, uh, you could be going into file, and then you could be opening uh, a new test. Um, when I do that, it's going to give me two windows here, one on the left, uh, which uh, basically talks to me as uh, what is this uh, a test call right now? Right now, since I have not saved it, it is called as test. And in there, there is something called an action one. I'm going to come back and then talk about what these actions are. Uh, but if uh, we're looking at action one, action one here uh, is where we will be uh, writing our scripts. Our script, um, in QTP would be written in a language called VB script. Now, th there are two ways of uh, writing our test here. Either we could be recording uh, the test by performing our actions on a browser. By the way, QTP works uh, on Internet Explorer. Um, so that's one of the ways of uh, creating or building our test by recording our actions on, the, on, a, on, a, on a particular application on um, um, on an Internet Explorer browser. The other way of doing that is uh, we have to write our own script. All right, in this first uh, video, I'm going to be showing you as a how we could go about uh, um, uh, recording a script. Now, our intent here is to is to perform a test, right? Um, and uh, how do we perform that test? Uh, we have to open up uh, that website. We got to go to that website to perform the test. Um, how are you going to tell QTP to open or go to that website? The way you're going to do that is uh, by going into one of the menu items here on the top called uh, the uh, automation. And in automation, there's something called a record and run settings. Um, when you click on that, uh, this record and run settings window pops up. And using QTP, you could be testing either web applications or Windows applications. Uh, right now, we are focusing on the web applications, so that is selected or highlighted in here. And in here, we have the option of um, going into open the following address when recorder run sessions begin. And here, I could be typing the, the web URL. If I need to go and test uh, eBay site, I would be typing HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.ebay.com. And, and when I run my test, it is going to open uh, that um, website. Now, let's try that. So here I am. I am going to type ebay.com and I say apply and OK. And um, let's say if I need to record if you see that button, that button, when I click on that button, when I click on this button, um, it will take me to that website, ebay.com. And here, I could be performing some action. The action which I would perform here is when, I, when you go to ebay.com, you need to, uh, you basically would be uh, doing what? You would be interested in bidding on a product, right? Um, so first of all, you would be searching for that product. So the way you're going to be searching for that product is uh, you would be typing in this box and click on that uh, search button. So I'm going to come in here and then type uh, um, something like uh, Nike um, shoes, right? And uh, now it gives me the option of like which Nike shoes I want to go with, right? So I could select that. Now 
I'll, I'll just keep it as Nike shoes and then click on search. Now, um, before I click on search, if you, if you take a look here, uh, basically what had happened is as I had typed things into this box, right? Um, it had generated some, some code here, right? Um, we're going to come back and then talk about what is all this browser, eBay, electronics, cars, and yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. And, uh, uh, so for now, I'm going to go and click on search. When I click on search, notice, uh, it had, uh, it had, uh, added this one more line in here and here i have uh, a bunch of uh, um pictures here of all nike shoes all right so what i have done in a nutshell is uh, uh now i'm going to close my browser what i have done in a nutshell is uh i i made qtp record some of the actions which i was performing on that browser right um so the fact that it is showing recording here, it means that it had not stopped recording yet. So, if, but I, since I closed my browser, there's nothing more to record. So I'm going to just stop this, uh, um, recording. And, uh, so let's take a look into these five lines of code. What, what is it doing? First of all, what is all this, right? Number one, it says that browser, eBay, electronics, cars, or, or whatever it says, uh, this, this is, this is VB script. This is VB script. So as I was performing on that browser, my actions on that browser, it was recording these things. So it went in and then it did record, uh, you know, certain things in here. Well, um, good for it. It recorded that, but what are we going to do with this? Um, can I make, um, um, QTP go and then execute these? Uh, these line of code on my behalf. Uh, well, uh, let's see how we can do that. For that, since I've, I have recorded, now I am going to run it. Run is basically telling it to execute these lines, go and, and, and perform, um, these, these lines of code. But where is it going to go and perform that? Um, I think it's going to go and do that on the browser, right? But where, where did we tell that? That was told in the automation section. When you go into the automation set the record and run settings, uh, we have said that, hey, you are going to open the, this address. And then once you open that address, you will be performing these actions. All right. Okay. Now, uh, let us see if it is, if it is going to do that for us. So I'm going to run and, uh, this box pops up. It, it tells us that, uh, um, hey, um, when I run, I might find some results. Uh, of whether it's a pass or a fail, where do you want me to store that? Do you want me to create a new folder and store it in that folder? Or would you not care if, if I just put it in the temporary folder? For now, um, since this is this is just a, a part of learning right now, um, I might not do much with that uh, folder. So I'm not putting it in, into a new folder results folder. So I'm just gonna be dumping it into what is called the temporary folder, which which happens to be in this, at this location on my, on my machine. Um, so, um, I'm going to hit OK. Right now, it is going to open the browser for me. It did open the browser for me. And um, if you take a look in here, it is right now, there's a yellow line, and it is sitting on, on that. And then as, and before even I could finish, it just, it just, you know, I could show you anything. It went in there, and then it finished everything for us, right? So, what did it do? Uh, well, it did it did perform whatever we told it to do. And here are some of the test results. Um, there's only one thing which I'm going to show you here is uh, uh, the results uh, are completed, uh, meaning that, the, you know, it did um, one iteration of whatever we told it to do, and it was done. And then um, it has not failed. It has not given anything in here. Now, if we go and expand this, it is going to give us some summary of what it did um, with, uh, if I go in here, with uh, some screenshots of what it did and whatnot, right? So um, let's say if it went in here, it did uh, go into the Nike shoes, it did whatever it did. So right now, I, I am not very much interested in the results part of it. So I'm gonna just gonna close that uh, and I'll come back to my test. So these were the things which, which it executed, right? But it executed so fast that I was not even able to look into it. So um, I would prefer if I could just, you know, at least take a look as what it is performing. So uh, how can I tell QTP to 
hey, I know that you could perform all of these things and you did perform on my behalf, but uh, can you do it like a little slow so that I could I could also take a look at what you're doing? Um, for that, you have to you have to introduce um, uh, a command or a VBScript command called uh, uh, wait, right? And uh, as you see, as soon as I type wait, uh, there is something called seconds here. Right. So how many seconds you wanted to wait? Well, I'm going to go with, let's say, uh, two seconds is fine. So uh, it is going to open the browser because of, of this automation in record and run settings. It is going to open eBay as, as the browser and it is going to do this. Uh, it is going to type this Nike shoes in there and then it's going to wait for two seconds and then it is going to perform this. Right. Um, and, and then we wanted to again let's say wait for two seconds or three seconds then after that it is going to click it is going to click on that button called search and we wanted to wait for um you know maybe uh three seconds again then after that it is going to sync and then eventually it is going to wait for let's say two seconds and then it is going to close now i am going to uh, talk about all of these things in detail like what is this set um and what is click and what is sync and then close all tabs i'm going to be talking about all of those things in fact um in our course uh, um i'm going to be going step by step and then talking to you about you know all the wonderful things uh which gets popped up here when you record um and uh how does uh you know each line of code uh, um is is getting interpreted by the browser and uh what if something goes wrong how do we fix that and all that right now i'm i'm going to be taking some baby steps so what i have done is i i have shown you as a uh, how to open qtp and and uh how to set uh, through the automation and record and run settings to go to a website and then uh, we could be recording on that website and, and we recorded some of our actions on the website and then that generated these lines of code and then we later we ran that when we run it um, it's going to be doing it so fast that we were not able to pay attention to that fact that uh, how did it do it and uh, what did it um, do so what I have done is I used what is called a wait uh, um, wait is a VB script command uh, wait is is basically a function or a method in uh, VB script which uh, uh, allows the uh, the execution of this line to be delayed or the execution between this line and this line will will be delayed by two seconds because QTP is going to just uh, take a breather for those two seconds all right now let's see if it is following our instructions or not if I run it now will it open the browser um, well let's see yes it did right and then uh, now, if you if you see, it is kind of like doing a little little slow, and then it waited. You could see, then now it clicked, and then eventually it's gonna wait. And as you see here, that that's what is happening, and eventually that is going to um, you know end the operation. So which is uh, uh, and it it shows this uh, test result. Since I'm not doing much with the test results at this time. Um, because we have a whole session where I'm going to be explaining you everything about the test results. Uh, how about if we uh, tell QTP not to show us these test results? Because it's kind of like annoying after ev after running every time this window pops up and then I'm not using um, this window at this time. So why don't I tell QTP not to display this? And the way you can do that is by going into tools and by going into options. And then you say that, hey, while you are running, while you're running, I know that when you finish the execution uh you, you can show us uh the results so view results when run session ends and this is checked that means that you want to view the results hey no i do not want to view the results so i just say do not show me that and then i say apply and okay now if i run it it's not going to show me the results but uh let's put a little uh more of a weight uh in there so i'm going to be putting a weight of like like let's say five between um every um line except for the last one because it is closing at that time it doesn't matter okay now let's uh go ahead and then run it um is it going to open the browser uh, there you go the browser gets open now let's pay, look into this yellow line it is waiting there and then it goes now after five seconds it goes there and then it is doing something then it is waiting there then it is going to click on that it did click on that now now it is waiting for five more seconds and then it synced 
it's, I mean, syncing is making sure that, you know, all the browser had completely loaded and all that. And then now it finished that. All right. So that's a, a, a very simple record and play. We have not learned much as far as what these lines are and all that. Uh, but my only uh, purpose uh, of uh, this video was to show you um, how you start QTP, how you get into the different settings of QTP, which I showed you by going into the tools uh, and going into the automation. And then we um, had set that value of uh, record and run and then how to run that. And then while while we were recording, it recorded these lines of code and then we inserted some weight in there. Right. And uh, uh, and then. Uh, we had the results popping up, but then we said we do not want to see the results. So we, I went into the tools and options and in the run mode, I said um, view results. I, che I checked it off. Uh, so that way we are not viewing any results right now. OK, so that's a, a quick, very quick uh, um, look at QTP. Um, now, in our uh, course, uh, I will be showing you um, how to how to basically uh, build QTP scripts, uh, meaning that what you have seen here was uh, auto-generated, right? Uh, there's no place uh, in real life for record and play. I mean, very little record and play you would be doing. So mostly you will be writing your own script with your own hand, meaning that whatever came up here um, in real life has got a very little significance of, of utilizing this. Uh, so you would be writing your own code in VB script. Now, that's where the real... Uh, money is and that's where the real um, you know the, the respect for you is is when you can start to write your code when you write your scripts in VB script when you um, do all the execution by writing your own ra rather than recording it uh, so uh, that's what the whole course is about um, this is just the beginning this is the very first video on um, QTP I want you to go and then uh, look into some of the free videos which we have here um that will teach you the basics of uh, writing vb script uh it'll, it'll talk to you about uh what is automation um here are here are some of the videos as you can see here uh what is automation testing learn how to build a data-driven framework that i've explained you everything about you know how you could be creating uh that and 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 i would say um one percent of my course is record and play uh 99 percent of the course is all about writing your own scripts uh, because that is exactly what you would be asked in the interview and that is exactly what you would be performing in real life uh not the record and play but then record and play is also important for you to go and then take a look into how to do some basic things and that's what we'll be continuing to um put out there with my free video series uh if you're interested in looking into how to write vb script uh Again, uh, there are, these are the free videos which you could be, um, you know, watching and then and then trying things. Uh, I have videos uh, on VB scripting. I have some videos on uh, um, QTP itself. Uh, um, so if watching those videos um, generates your interest in learning um, this tool, then uh, uh, take a look into our classes. Um, and uh, um, we suggest that... Uh, if this is something which you want to do, then, um, you know, get enrolled into our courses. And uh, uh, in six weeks, you'll be learning quite a bit of uh, of uh, uh, QTP. In fact, uh, um, enough that uh, you could be building a data-driven framework uh, using all VB script uh, in QTP. Well, uh, that's about it uh, for this session. Um, I'm going to come back with uh, more of... Uh, uh, QTP free videos for you uh, where you could um, you could learn a lot of QTP. So um, relax um, and uh, just keep an eye on this website and then you'll be finding some of the videos uh, coming out there. Um, until then, take it easy. See you in the next video.